Hello, I'm Gay Lisby. And I'm Gary Reddy. Welcome to Tribe Talks. Tribe Talks is a series of heartfelt moments with members of Amazon Seller Tribe, where we're pretty transparent, aren't we, Gary? Yeah, we are, Gay, because you know, really, 50% of life is if. If you actually spell out the word, half of it is just a chance. And then after that, it's how we respond to it. You know, that's right, Gary. And here at Tribe Talks, we want listeners to be inspired by other Amazon sellers to overcome their own self-imposed limitations. And that's why we're doing Tribe Talks. Hi, everybody. This is Gary Ray. We're going to do a Tribe Talk here with some friends of ours that uh, stopped by and spent several hours with us today talking. Rex and Jenny Keltner. They're from central part of Missouri, south central part of Missouri, near Springfield. They live in that area. And I'm going to be asking them some questions. And we're going to spend a few minutes talking here because they've got kind of a unique story and I want you all to hear about this today. Many of you will be seeing this live in our Amazon group. Many of you will be seeing this on YouTube. So wherever you're seeing this, see if there's anything here about Rex and Jenny's story that uh, is appealing to you. So first off, Rex, if you would tell us about where you had worked at before. Uh, I worked at Prime Incorporated, which is the, the largest refrigerated trucking company in the nation. I know plenty of you have seen the trucks as Prime Incorporated on the on the side. I worked there for about 12 and a half years as a broker. Wow. What you didn't know was I owned a, a small trucking company once, so I know a little bit about trucking and found out I didn't like it. Uh, very stressful. <laughs> I didn't like it either. Yeah, the, gov the government <laughs> has ruined it with all the regulations and everything else. Now, folks out there in, in computer land watching this, let me tell y'all something. Right now, we're on two different screens here, and the camera's in the middle, and we're all three laughing before we come on here because we don't know where to look here. If we look and see ourselves on screen, it looks like we're not looking at the camera. So just enjoy the... Normally, on these tribe talks, when you see Gay do these, the person that we're talking with is on the other... And on another camera they could be states away but I'm doing this with them sitting here live in my office so that's why this whole screen thing's a little bit different but that don't matter just listen to the story what we're going to be telling and Jenny tell everybody what it is you do for a living. I work for the Springfield Green County Library I do all the accounts payable for the 10 branches we have there so I Keep the lights on, pay the bills. Thank you very much and we appreciate what you do. Rex and Jenny are parents of uh, triplets yeah so a lot of us out there if you're ever out in the store and you see a parent with three little ones that was them uh almost 18 years ago or something like that the yeah three big ones now yeah now they're three gorgeous girls and we're all so thankful they look like their mother but they're <laughs> they really are great people but rex now let's talk a little bit about amazon which okay. is why we're here tell us now how long you've been in the amazon space uh, I've actively been selling full time on Amazon for two years. And this past year, when you finished the 12 months, you almost hit how much in sales? 500,000. I got real close to it. And uh, a few minutes ago, folks, we're sitting here in my office going through some numbers and some business stuff, and we had Inventory Lab pulled up, and I seen how much Rex made last year. And I won't tell what it is, but congratulations. It was a good year. It was a very good year. Uh, most money you've ever made? It is the most money I ever made. Um, I will tell you this. My first year on Amazon, I sold $75,000. And last year, 500000 And income-wise, several percentage points more. But yes. you and Jenny told me that a few minutes ago how much more it was. Now, Jenny, the reason I ask you if you'd be willing to be on here, seriously, I know we were all laughing and having fun a while ago, but those of you out there in that land, I'll also tell you we all got, and my wife was in here too, all four of us, we got rather serious a while ago. And we were all talking, and all four of us uh, had tears, and we yes. all were very emotional because life has its twists and turns, its cracks, in our vessels, as we was talking about a while ago, we're all kind of cracked vessels, <laughs> so to speak. And uh, But Jenny, I want you to tell only what you want to tell, but I want you to tell about uh, several months ago, uh, Gay did a program where we had couples on. Some of you out there in the Amazon Seller Tribe remember that. We had various couples on the screen, but that night during that, I saw something from Jenny. She was sitting, I believe if my memory is right, on Rex's left-hand side. 
And I saw something in her and I said something about that that night, a, a softness or a tenderness that come over her. So tell us about that night and what that was that you were feeling, because I know you remember the event. Tell everybody about that, if you would. what was causing that? Well, that just happened to be that specific day. Rex had called me at work and he said, um, I want to take you to lunch. And I said, okay. And so he took me to lunch and- well, well, Tell him a little bit about how normally those calls when I would call you and said, hey, can I take you to lunch? What that meant? Not good news. <laughs> normally not good news. So a lot of times uh, learn to get a pit in my stomach, but we've got over a few humps on that. But um, so he was really excited and he said, I want to take you to lunch to celebrate. Can you go to lunch? And I said, sure. So we went to lunch and so he was picked me up and he was all beaming and just had a glow about him. And so we were driving and he said, um, I want to take you lunch to celebrate. I said, well, what are we celebrating? And because since he started Amazon, we've tried to celebrate a lot of little things along the way, like the small steps. And uh, so I didn't know what step this was, but um, so we went to lunch and he said, you know, he, told me, you know, he said, um, this was just a little ways into, de into December. I don't re remember how many days, but he said, today, by the end of the day, I will hit a hundred thousand for the month in, in sales. In sales. And this was just, I don't even know how many days, not very many, 10 or less. And so it was just really exciting number one, to hit that goal, but more so just to see the glow about him and the success that he's had. And I contribute that a lot actually to being in the tribe because All of it. Um, the path that he's taken and started out with was so different than where we are today from two years ago. So, um, and then the last year has just really grown. So it was just really exciting and um, just a blessing to see him so happy and energetic and just happy about it. Isn't that true? I mean, this is twice tonight I've heard this and the second time I'm probably better than the first time. That is just so neat. I, we said at lunchtime today and I told Rex at lunch today, I was telling him some things about himself that I'd caught, but I told him, I said, the number one thing you have going for you is your spouse. He has a supportive spouse, and number one. Number one. <laughs> She's encouraging and she brags on him. And even at lunchtime today, when Rex was saying, very honestly, Rex was saying, I don't know if I can do that, or I, and I won't tell what it is, but we were just talking heart to heart about business. And instantly she jumped in and said, yes, you can. And, and I was just like, man. And I told him, I said, Rex, a lot of people don't have that. They don't have that positive plus one at home that's supporting and encouraging. And so for all of y'all out there in land, even if you don't know the three of us or if you'll never meet, and if you kill this video and you never come in, that's fine. But just always remember, if you're fortunate or blessed enough to have somebody that supports you and encourage you, spouse, best friend, brother, sister, pastor, whatever, count yourself among perhaps some of the richest people on the planet. If you've got somebody that can encourage you and uh, somebody can motivate you. Now, I want the both of y'all to tell the story that you told me about being at the seller conference and the phone call and you know the rest of it. So y'all tell that. So I went last year to the seller conference there in Branson and I was there, I don't know, a, a few hours. And all I could think of was Jenny's got to come down here. She had went to Kansas city at the time to take, uh, with a, a friend of hers and take her daughters and they went to a concert and they got back late late and this was uh, probably the third conference last year that we had been to i didn't know anything about the tribe none and uh, a friend of mine sean patrick thank you sean patrick i will always thank you um he had posted uh that he was coming to branson and i was like What's Sean coming to Branson for? Normally he's in a van pulling a trailer and just wiping everything out as he goes. And so I, I, I was like, what are you doing in Branson? He was like, well, there's this conference. And I'm like, what is it? What is this conference about Amazon in my backyard? I'm, I want to go. And so 
anyways, uh, long story short. So I got there at the conference and there was a feeling uh, as soon as I walked in that was automatically different than any other Amazon book conference, anything that had to do with online sales. It was just different. And so uh, after the opening and it was actually uh, Deanna had just got done presenting and the most amazing presentation I have ever seen. And I get on the phone as soon as we go out, little intermission and, I, and I'm calling Jenny. I was like, look, you've got to get out of here. I said, there, this is unreal. Um, and actually I went, I had asked Colleen at the time, I was like, I registered late. I didn't register with my wife. I said, can she come down here? I really want her to see this. I want her to see this. Absolutely, come on down. And so then I called Jenny and I'll just kind of turn it over and let you talk about it from there. So he called me and like he said, I hadn't got home till probably 1.30 or two in the morning from being in Kansas City. So I was sleep deprived, not very chipper. And <laughs> we have a little bit of history between Rex and I where I've been to a lot of things that I just had to see, I had to be at. So, <laughs> so, but this time was different. I could just tell it in his voice or something sensed to me that I needed to come. So I got ready, I went down and um, so we got there, everybody was done eating lunch and then proceeded back into the room to start, you know, the meetings or presentations again. and. From the time I walked in, just things were just really different to me because um, I'd been to a few other conferences with him. And I'm, if you haven't heard Deanna's speech, it was about the plus one. And so I'm Rex's plus one. He does Amazon full time. She's I do not, <laughs> <laughs> I do not yet. But um, so I'm his other half. And many of the other conferences I've been to, I've been made to feel unimportant and that, you know, people would ask me what I do in the business. And so I would say, well, I'm work full time and I'm his helper and his go-to when he needs backup. And so I would just kind of be not talked to, but um, this conference was completely different. People were coming up to me and talking to me and having discussions that I could partake in. And um, so as the day went on, it was just this overwhelming feeling of being a part of something. And I hadn't even heard Deanna's speech, which if you haven't heard about, it was just, I've gone back and watched and it's just amazing for us plus ones. And um, that we're a part of this too, even if we aren't in the day to day, mm -hmm. nitty gritty 24 seven, you know, we are a part of it. We're in this together. And that can be, you know, plus one can be a spouse, but it can also be a business partner or whoever is working with you through this. Um, so it was just amazing. And then to come here to Kentucky um, this fall and the Branson and Branson again, is just been meeting so many different people. And even though I'm not in the business every day, doing it eight hours a day, just be able to get to know everybody. And it's just this community that has just been so welcoming and just great to be a part of. And I've just really enjoyed it. And it makes me want to be with all these people even more and <laughs> just great people. And what's wonderful right now is I'm watching you on the screen here as you're telling this, I'm imagining sitting out there in uh, internet land, watching this, not knowing you going, I want to meet you. I want to know you. I mean, you're such a nice person because sometimes in this world, I don't care what it is you're doing. You kind of get the feeling of, is there any nice people left? You know, just nice people that you can just be friends with that won't stab you in the back or cut your throat or whatever. And, uh, one of the reasons y'all are sitting here in our house today, the reason my wife and I are taking a vacation day and spending it with y'all is y'all are nice people. I mean, I can look here in the camera at you all and say, y'all are nice people. And it's nice to be working with and working around. Uh, Rex and Jenny are in our, what we call tribe three coaching group. And then we're in tribe two as well. And that's how we got to know them. 
and they are truly nice people. But the Amazon seller tribe that Gay Lisby started, it's full of nice people. I mean, they're not the, the exception, they are the rule. And it's just full of nice people. We have doubled in size. We're now over 400 members at the time of this recording. And we doubled in size in the last year. Uh, and it's really grown. It's full of nice people. Now, Rex, yes. one of the things I want to hear you tell everybody about is the story about all the times I had driven this certain road. And then you tell the rest of it. I don't want to tell any of it. Tell everybody that. So one of the things that I had to answer to myself here in the past year, uh, going through tribe two and in tribe three was, was my, what my why is. And, um, so last week was it last? Yeah. Last week. So we're me and my dad, we're going fishing on Wednesday of last week. And, uh, so as I had called Jenny in December and said, Hey, I want to take you to lunch, you know, to celebrate a milestone, um, uh, me and my dad are on our way fishing on Wednesday morning last week. And I told my dad, I was like, Hey, I just want to let you know, um, I, we just hit another milestone and he's like, really, what, what'd you do? And I was like, well, you and I were, we're going fishing right now on Wednesday. And he kind of looked at me funny. He's like, well, what do you mean? And I was like, I spent 12 and a half years driving this road. <laughs> and I was so jealous that I would see a couple guys in their truck pulling a boat in the middle of the week, going to the lake. And I was like, why can't I do that? I want to do that. And I'm going to tell you, it has nothing to do with, I just sold half a million dollars or close to half a million dollars last year on Amazon. It has everything to do with going fishing with your dad on Wednesday. Amen. It was a big deal. It is a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> it is a big deal. And you know, we were talking before we recorded this, we were talking about, it's not always the freedom of time that we're trying to make no it's the freedom of the spirit right it's the freedom to work 80 hours a week for ourselves, but then you take off on a wednesday <laughs> and you go fishing with your dad while right. you still have a dad it's exactly how right. old is your dad dad's 80. yeah while you've still got a dad you can take off on a wednesday and go fishing uh that's you know honestly that's what we do that's what we're trying to do here at amazon seller tribe and that's why I wanted to get these two. Y'all can see now why I wanted to get them on camera. They're super nice people and the wonderful parents of, like we said, triplet daughters. And um, if you want to look us up, find us. I'm sure there's a link here in the group. Find Amazon Seller Tribe. Come and join us. Please. And uh, join us. You yeah. Know, you, you won't regret it. <laughs> you will not regret it. I <laughs> that's promise you. I like that. <laughs> that's good. She's good. Hey, we'll get off here. We love everybody. We hope in some way maybe this this few minutes together uh, shine some positive light on life. You know, the middle two letters in the word life is if, if I'd have done this, if I'd have done that, where would I be now? And you know, about half of life is a chance. And then after that, it's just how we respond to it. So we're just all three cracked vessels ourselves <laughs> and uh, just want to do a little bit of good, but the Amazon seller tribe is a good place to learn about Amazon be around a good culture of people, but don't join us unless you're a, an optimistic kind of person that wants to be around good people because that's all we want here is just good people. We don't want a group full of a whole bunch of nasty, mean old people. <laughs> but uh, thanks, Rex and Jenny, for being here. And thanks Thank for being you, my Jerry. friends. And I'm glad of the income you made last year. I saw that on your inventory lab. <laughs> and I was thinking, cool, brother, cool. Proud of you. So take care, everybody. See you. See you Bye. So that's it today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Tribe Talks. If you're interested in selling on Amazon, just jump on the link below. And folks, if you enjoyed Tribe Talks, seriously, if it helped you maybe take one more step in life, could we get you to take one more step here and subscribe to the link below. And see you next time on Tribe Talks. Take care, everybody. <laughs>